So the top has been twisted off. It came off relatively easy because this was quite dry. So I'm just literally pushing the top, pushing the top here um, of the kernels and they are shooting off into the bowl. Most of them are anyway. So again, you probably won't need to do this because the popcorn you're likely to find in the shops will probably already have had this done. But, yeah, I, I quite like getting the cob still. So, I've removed all the kernels from one of the popcorn. I thought you might like to see what the uh, fibrous husk looks like. <laughs> this one's really dried out. I, I assume popcorn would normally be slightly more moist, but, yeah, this is uh, very well dried. So, we have the second cob here so I'm just again going to remove the uh, leaves and I'm going to do exactly the same as last time just literally slide your thumb over the uh, kernels and they should just pop off getting it started is a bit tricky but you know once you've got it started it's relatively easy so it's taken about two minutes but here we go we have our kernels Okay, so we're going to add just around about a tablespoon's worth of oil into this pan. This pan is slightly damp, so there's going to be a tiny bit of moisture coming up a bit. And all we're going to do is take three kernels, pop them in there, and we are going to put the lid on. Now what we're going to do, we're going to wait until the three kernels have popped and that is the perfect temperature for popcorn and then we're going to have the rest in. So three of these have popped now, so I'm going to remove these three and put them over there and these now. Temperature is now perfect for popcorn, so I'm going to add the rest of the kernels, standing well back. <laughs> perfect. We're going to put the heat back on. Hopefully. Ah, go for it eventually. So the kernels are in there, the temperature is pretty much perfect and we're going to cover them back up. So the popcorn is popping, I'm just going to move this in a circular motion just to stop the kernels from burning and I'm going to turn the heat off now because the reaction is working, uh, I think. Whoop. Yeah, it is definitely working. And the heat's off. Again, I wouldn't take the lid off at this point because they can have quite explosive results. Again, just moving this will hopefully mean the smaller kernels fall to the bottom. So, yeah, it's a good idea to do it. And it sounds like it's starting to quiet down now. And there we go. Lovely, lovely living popcorn. Delicious. So what you have on your popcorn is up to you. I'm going to go with simple butter and perhaps a sprinkle of sugar and salt. So the popcorn's ready. We are literally going to spoon the popcorn into a bowl. Or perhaps we'll pour it into a bowl. 
Now I really wouldn't, I try to keep out the kernels so there'll be a few unpopped ones there usually is. Okay so that looks uh, pretty good. So we have our butter which has been melted in the microwave for a minute which we are going to add to the popcorn. So then we're going to add a spoonful of sugar to help the medicine go down. Great. Perfect. So here we go, the perfect movie snack. And it's taken about five minutes in total. Um so yeah, have a go at home. So, now you know how to make your own popcorn at home. Well, I've been David Beck, and uh, happy popping. Please like and subscribe, etc, 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 and uh, hopefully you'll see me soon. Okay, bye!